Hey, what's up, bros? NZ Glitcher, welcome back to the channel. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the give card a friends glitch at the facility so you can get cars back to back and you can actually get cars like every few minutes or so, like every three minutes, literally, with this glitch. It's not that bad, but then it's not the best either because if you're trying to use the magic spot to flip interiors of the cars or if you're trying to live stream then this is not the method for you unless you got some very patient viewers or unless you got patience yourself um, but anyway you want to make sure that you do have your facility full of LG rh8 so that's the free LG rh8 and one street vehicle to begin with this because we are be going to be needing to get a festival bus I do not have a festival bus on this character but I do have a festival bus on the other character so I will be giving this character a festival bus so if you haven't got one of those then go ahead and find someone that does and do this method that I'm about to show you first this method that I'm about to show you right now and you'll be able to get a festival bus so make sure you go ahead and enter your penthouse and bookmark this job right here it will be in the description so go ahead and check the description to bookmark this job, then close your application. Then what you want to do is hit the right D-pad on the phone and then hit the right D-pad on the job when the character walks into the job. And then when the menu comes up, you just want to hold your interaction menu and spam right D-pad. I kind of did it all messed up there. So stand right here so you get the option to pick up the phone and then press the right D-pad. And then once your character moves into the circle, press right D-pad again, you will get a black screen. As soon as you come off this black screen, you want to hold your interaction menu, then start scrolling up on the D-pad. You'll see the interaction menu and the menu for the phone glitched, and then the menu behind will go away and the phone will disappear. From there, walk over to the door over here, slightly open the door. You want to select casino, wait a couple seconds, and then turn around. Okay, once you've done that, walk back up to the door again, open it slightly, select Casino again, wait a couple seconds and turn back around. Once you've done that, walk back up to the door and finally we're going to open it a little bit and select Exit Penthouse. And this is going to take us outside of the penthouse. Once you get outside, turn straight back around and walk into the casino. You're going to see a whole bunch of options here, like a bigger menu than normal. Just select Casino. And then after you do that, it's obviously going to take like a minute to load or so, or 30 seconds or something. And then you should be falling through the map. If you're not falling through the map and you're inside the casino, I suggest you leave the lobby and come back and try the whole glitch again. But if you're falling through the map here and you're standing right here with no map, that's perfect. We're now going to make our way over to the casino parking lot. Okay, we're going to be needing to throw some sticky bombs in five car spaces down here in the casino parking lot. So we'll make our way over there. Once we get to the casino parking lot, like I said, we're going to be throwing five sticky bombs down in these particular car spaces right here. Because when we request our personal vehicle from up at the facility, because we're glitched out off the radar down here and the game thinks we're inside the casino, the car is actually going to spawn in one of these car spaces here. But once you've thrown those sticky bombs down, head straight up to the facility. Just job teleport up there by starting a job on the map. Press square on it to start the job and then X to accept the alert. Once you load in the job, you want to join Wintery Cleric, which was just up on the screen right there. This person is always in a free aim lobby in tight to another job in an invite only session. Once the first alert comes up, go ahead and join Wintery again and that alert should change. Just deny it and that's how you job teleport. So if you get stuck like this, I'm not quite sure yet how to like get off this. I just had to walk around a little bit and enter the job. So you press right to enter again. And then I just backed out of the job and I was all good and I could move around. But I think this is what caused my sticky bombs to despawn. Because later on in the video, I pressed left on the D-pad to blow the sticky bombs and they didn't blow up. So my friend actually ends up having to go down there to blow up the vehicle for me, but that's fine. But I'm just letting you know that I'm pretty sure 
if that happens to you, um, just go back into a job and then back out and you should be good. But yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure that'll make the sticky bombs despawn. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and find yourself a vehicle that'll be easy for your friend to flip over. So I suggest this being a vehicle with a really flat roof or a vehicle that like a ramp can get underneath really easy. And why I'm saying a really flat roof is because once you flip that kind of vehicle over, it's not going to roll back over. It's just going to stay on the roof because it's got a flat roof. But you're going to park here, let go of the interaction menu and be on the full alert. While you're waiting on this full alert, your friend's just going to simply flip you over just like this in the top right corner of the screen. It's just going to flip you over and when you're on the roof, you're going to accept the alert and then hop out of the vehicle. So you're going to accept the alert, not decline, and then hop out of the vehicle. Once you've done that, your friend's just going to go ahead and park the car that he's giving you. I'm just going to give myself a, a issy here. But once he's parked the car where he's going to give it to you, or he's backed up and he'll do that a bit later, <laughs> um, you're just going to go ahead and request the car that's in your facility. And this car has to be the street car that we were talking about. So you now want to request the street car that is in the facility. So I'm going to call the mechanic. I'm going to head down to the facility. And the land stalker is the street car that's in there. We're going to request that. And the reason why it has to be a street car is because with this method, we're wanting to blow up the car and it be gone forever. So a street car has no tracker. So when we blow that car up, it's going to be gone forever. So once it spawns down there, you want to hit left on the D-pad and hopefully it blows that car up. If it doesn't, well, then you made the same mistake that I did somewhere and you now need your friend to either job teleport down there or fly down there and their Avenger or something or their Mark II oppressor. And they just need to go down there basically and blow up that vehicle for us. So this is my friend's screen right here. I've just zoomed it in bigger. You can see me glitched off the radar. The game thinks I'm in the casino. My friend's gonna job teleport down to the car park. Once they're in, hit the apex job. They're gonna also join wintry cleric while they're in this job. Join wintry cleric. And then they're just gonna wait for their first alert to come up. You always wanna do this because just in case wintry changes targeting mode, just join them on the first alert and then it should change to a second alert, just deny it. Okay, you basically never want to accept that first alert. Just when that first alert does come up, just hit the join button again and that first alert should change to a different alert. Just deny it. So my friend's going to go ahead and blow up the vehicle. And just like that, the vehicle has been destroyed. So then the friend's going to make their way back up to the facility. They're going to park the car that they're going to give you. So I've decided to actually give myself... Um, the party bus in this video because I realized that oh wait I need the party bus for the other method so I decided to give myself the party bus and not the issy so you just basically want to hop in the party bus which will be your friends with the interaction menu open then just drop the interaction menu and you will get sucked in to the facility just like that okay reason why we're holding the interaction menu and getting in the vehicle is so we don't accidentally walk into the yellow circle and get pulled into the facility because at that point we are in a glitched out state where we are just ready to receive the car and all we have to do is hop in the car and accept the alert or hold pull down the interaction menu i mean to get the facility animation and as you see we are now inside the facility and i have the festival bus in here perfect all right, so now what we want to do is make our way outside and we're going to transfer this festival bus over to the CEO garage. So you want to go ahead and call your mechanic. Just request any vehicle from your CEO garage and just make sure that that CEO garage is also full. And remember, you want to make sure that your facility is also full as well, which I did mention at the beginning of the video. You want to have it full of free allergy RHH anyway. You want to drive a free allergy in there from your CEO office and accept the full alert.
And once we load in to the facility, we will just select the festival bus and that's going to put the RH8 in here and it's going to put the festival bus in our facility. So now I suggest after receiving this festival bus, it could be a bit glitchy calling it out with the mechanic. So probably go to creator or story mode and then join back to this lobby that your friend is in or just create a new lobby. But yeah, make your way down to the CEO office anyway. Um, set your spawn location, the last location, and then just load into a new lobby. Uh, once you get into this new lobby, if your friend does spawn somewhere else, you can go ahead and go into this job marker that's down by the Maze Bank West. It is Bahama Mama's West or Bahama West Mama Mia. Go ahead and invite your friend to this job. And then when you see them joining, kick them from the job and then just get out of the job yourself. And now both of you will be down here nice and quick. So once you're both down here, this next part's very, very simple. The rest of the glitch is actually very, very simple. So like I said, this is actually not a bad one, but for certain things, it's a little bit annoying. Like I don't know how to use the magic spot with it. I don't know how we would quite work this with give card friends live streams and stuff like that, but it is a good working give cards to friends glitch either way. So shout out to the founders for, for that one because it is a is a good work and give card to friends, which I believe it's a shout out to Mac UK and Thug Passion or something for the off the radar. But once you are inside your festival bus, you do want to go ahead and get your friend to start up a titan of a job. So you see my other character standing right there next to the minimap. There's their screen right there in the top right corner. They're just going to go straight into titan of a job. So jobs in online then play job then rockstar created and then they're going to go down to missions and it actually doesn't matter if it's not titan of a job as long as it's just a rockstar created mission okay they're just going to be loading into this job and then once they load into the job we're going to go ahead and hit the glitch we're going to be driving this festival bus in to the ceo garage so our friend's going to sit in the job they're just going to wait on the quit alert just like that and once our friend's on the quit alert we're going to back this festival bus up nice and nice and easy back it up so we can just drive straight into the ceo garage door the aim of the game is to drive straight in just like that smash into the door and you will see that the bus will not be able to go in from here just press pause and then once the screen goes black, what you want to do is go to the friends list on the pause menu and join your friend that's in the job. Just join game, wait on this first alert, don't accept it. Get your friend to back out of the job before you accept it. Once your friend's back standing on the road, accept that alert, then accept the next alert, unable to connect. It's going to bring you back down. You'll still be sitting inside the bus you're going to notice that in front of you, there's no more garage door anymore and it's all weird. Okay. You're going to get out of the bus and you may or may not be able to choose your weapons. In this case, I was able to choose my weapons. I have my mini map and everything, but as long as you see this garage door open like that, what the hell? Did you see that? As long as you see that garage door open like that, then that is not normal. Okay, so you're definitely glitched out from here. You're off the radar. Just go ahead and ask your friend anyway. He shouldn't see you on the map. All right. As long as your friend doesn't see you on the map, then you're good. You can actually go ahead and start up a job right now too. So go into missions and go into a Rockstar Creative Mission and your friend can do that same thing and they can go ahead and glitch it, get glitched out now too and you just can give each other cars. Okay, go ahead and get yourself a car with a flat roof like I said. I suggest one with a flat roof and once you've got a car that will be nice and easy to flip over onto the roof and you're up at the facility with your friend your friend is then going to go ahead and call up a car that they can flip you over onto the roof with so pretty easy that one is just a phantom wedge or even just a issy with a ramp on the front 
Go ahead, open up your interaction menu and park on the yellow circle just at the front of your facility. Close the interaction menu and you should be on the full alert. While you're on this full alert, your friend is just going to go ahead and flip you over. And then when you're on the roof, you're going to accept the alert. So once we're on the roof, like now, we're going to accept the alert, boom, just like that. We'll hop out of the car, and once we hop out of the car, pretty simple from here, we're going to open the interaction menu and take the easy way out. Once we're taking the easy way out, the friend is now going to park the car that they're going to give you, and this time I am going to give myself just a Arena War Issy. Once the friend has parked the car they're going to give you on the yellow circle of the facility, you're going to run up to it and open the interaction menu before you hop in it so you don't get sucked into your own facility. Hop in the car, close the interaction menu. This time you will have to accept a full alert. Just accept it and you will get pulled straight into your facility. Once you spawn inside there, you just want to replace this car over an RH8 or a car you don't mind losing. So I've got an RH8 in here. And I've got a streetcar in here from the glitch out we did before. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace this Issy right over the top of this streetcar. And boom, just like that, we've done the other gift card of friends, the better one, the better facility one anyway. So this one you can do back to back. So you can head straight outside, just exit the facility. And once you're outside, just go ahead and just do it again. Just make sure your facility is full of RH8s. And that's it. I'll catch you bros in the next one. Bye-bye.